Hello and welcome to my channel Rapid Vectors. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect a health pickup and replenish the health bar. As you jump and collect the pickup, the health bar is replenished in the top left corner. If you like what you see in this video, please remember to hit like or subscribe, and I have other videos in my playlist for this 2D platform series. To create our health pickup, let's start by creating a new folder and call this pickups. Inside the pickups folder, let's create another new folder and call this health pickup. Click scene, new scene, and we'll do a new 2D scene. And just F2 that and we'll just call this health pickup again. And let's add a child node. And then we'll choose animated sprite 2D. And in the warped files asset pack under sprite sheets, there is a sprite sheet which is a power up. So we're going to use that for the health pickup. Just click and drag that over into the health folder. And then for the animated sprite 2D, just click sprite frames, new sprite frames, and then we'll load that power up from the pickup. Let's just zoom in and then select the frames. Once the frames are selected, click add frames and we can leave it on default because we don't have any other animations to add on to this. Let's click auto load so that the animation will play and then increase this to five frames per second. But we'll just first play the animation. Let's zoom in and then just increase the frame rate. So 10's probably fine. Once we've created that animation, we can then save the scene. So we'll just go pickups, health pickup, and then save. And then under health pickup, let's choose area 2D. Let's rename the area 2D to be health pickup box, add a child node and choose a collision shape. In the collision shape, let's pick the circle shape and let's just change the debug color. We can resize this collision shape, just make it a little bit smaller and that will set up the area for the health pickup. So just click on the health pickup box one more time and just scroll down to the collision layer. So at the moment we've just got ground, player, enemy, and let's just check what other layer names we have. So we need to add a new layer for pickup and then close that. So in the layer, we just need to select layer four, turn off layer one, and then we want to detect the player. So turn layer one off the mask and then two on the player. Now click on health pickup and detach a script, and we'll call this health pickup. Click the health pickup box and in node. Select body entered and then connect that node. Then we will export the variable for the pickup amount. So we'll do at export for pickup amount with the default value of one. And then in the on body entered method, we want to say if body dot is in group player. So we want to detect the body is the player. Then we want to send a value to the health manager. So we want to say health manager increase the health by the pickup amount then once the pickup has been taken by the player we want to then be free the pickup from the game let's go to our levels and then open up the test level let's create a new node and call this pickups we'll just rename that we'll just move that above the player and then let's go to our pickup folder and then drag the health pickup onto the game. We can then just organize that and pop that into the pickups folder there. Let's now run the test level. And what we want to do is to run into the enemy to lose a life. And then we'll run into our health pickup to replenish the health bar. And as you can see, that's worked nicely. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you would like to know how the health bar has been created, then these tutorials are in the playlist. If you like what you see in this tutorial, please hit like or subscribe to receive updates on future tutorials. Thank you for watching.